right, Law Wolf. Glad you could make it. I am actually going to wait a few minutes for some people to trickle in before I get started because uh, what we're going to be doing today is um, doing the alternate, I don't I don't know if it really does classify as an alternate ending since it's not going to be an ending, but basically the alternate path of um, when we were dealing with, uh, I think the guy's name was Al, maybe? So if you haven't watched the Lorelei Let's Play or haven't played the game yourself before, uh, go ahead and stop this video now and do so, because this is going to have spoilers. But we're going to be doing uh, different choices than we did in the Let's Play concerning Al and what the Queen of Maggots wants us to do with him. That being said, uh, I sense that it's going to be rough. I sense that it's going to be kind of a rough section of the game. Hey, Cam! Lawwolf was gifted a sub to a channel I he doesn't follow. Huh. So Cam, I'm not sure if you were here for this part just a moment ago, but it's going to be, uh, we're going to be having spoilers for uh, the Let's Play I did of Lorelei. And if you're okay with that, then, then uh, you can come along, and I'm happy to have you here. As I just said to Blawwolf, we're going to be waiting a few more minutes for some people to show up, because I will need the moral support. <laughs> It was a it was a very heart wrenching sequence of the game, uh, the way that we played it in the Let's Play, and uh, I'm sure it's going to be just as um, uh, I'm sure it's it's going to be yes we're playing Lorelai uh huh Lorelai. I'm sure it's going to be just as trying. You did spell it right. Hopefully we can get Ark in here, and Sin, and Guy, hopefully they can show up. I was not so much feeling um, a Plague Tale Innocence today, so that's why we're going for Lorelei. This is something I've been meaning to do for a long time. I'm also contemplating, I don't know if I will do this, it's just a thought at the moment, of uh, doing another series of the Cat Lady. I mentioned this a long time ago. Uh, doing another series of the Cat Lady kind of like, you know, five years later, or however long it's been, and then kind of seeing like what new things I notice or other like new takes that I that I have on it because as I explained before um, you know people have have you ever gone back to a book and you got something out of it very different than the first time that you read it because you have changed as a person your 
uh, perspective, like your outlook even on life could be different. And because the Cat Lady is one of my favorite games of all times, and I think it's like <laughs> a masterpiece of a game, uh, I think it uh, would be a very worthy game to do that for. Okay, I think we can go ahead and just get started. I don't doesn't look like anybody else is going to be uh, trickling in. And if they do, we still have a little bit of dialogue to get through. So let's switch over to the game. So as of right now, um, and again, if you haven't seen, if you haven't played the game yet or seen a Let's Play of it, spoilers from here on out, be advised. Uh, okay, so basically what's going on right now is that uh, we died a second time. The first time we died, uh, basically our stepfather or our, no, not stepfather technically, but our mother's boyfriend killed us. And uh, we came back to life, uh, thanks, quote unquote, thanks to the Queen of Maggots here. And um, so we went, we got our revenge on that bastard and killed him, or so we thought. Um, saved our baby sister. And, um, but then turns out he wasn't actually dead, he, uh, and he came and he murdered us again. Queen of Maggots has decided that, um, another, another life is going to cost more than it did the first time around. And she's gonna want us to play a little game with her. So right now, she's having us look at all these candles here. If you remember, these three skulls, uh, these three skull candles are the lives of the people closest to us and ourselves. So the left one is our baby sister, Bethany's. The middle one is our uh, our our boyfriend-to-be's, uh, Zach's can uh, life candle. And the right one, which is blown out at the moment, is of course ours. So what she's asking us to do now, very cryptically I might add, is uh, choose a candle, one of the many candles spread around that represent represent different human lives. Unlit candles. So many candles. Which one do I pick? I don't suppose it matters, so let's no. just grab any one. Light it up, love alive. How's the sound? Uh, if you guys are having trouble hearing the ambience, I can turn it up for you. Let me know. Whatever sounds best, if it needs to come up or down. Aw, thanks, Cam. I think, um... It's burning nicely. It almost makes I forget how to open the inventory. Cold. It's been a very long time. It's burning nicely. Uh, how do I... How do I use items? Escape. Let's take a quick look at the controls, actually. Inventory is space. Okay, C is combine. Got it. Use oh Q is examine okay. So let's light up the candle. So this this uh, this this stream's gonna have a little different feel to it today. It's not not exactly a great day. So that's why we're playing something with a little bit darker tone. See, in this channel, we do not shy away from dark subjects, I important subjects, candle. subjects of mental health and Let's see what story negative emotions and tell. stuff, uh, because they are natural, just as natural as the happy emotions that we feel at times. No. It's someone you've already met. Wouldn't you know? A chef. His name is Al. Yeah, that rings a bell. Yeah, that rings a bell. He works in the care home, right? Yes. You do know this folk, but now you will get to know him better than anyone. Why him? 
What's so special about Al? Oh, there's nothing special about him. He's just a sad little man who likes to drink. His life has been slowly falling apart for quite some time. He tries to fix it, but you will make sure he fails. So, uh, what she's going to ask us to do here is uh, sabotage him. Um, and uh, we did. We did sabotage him the first time around. And we got to know him very very personally walk around and see his daily life and um, so we did kind of do the evil thing and for our own sake for the sake of getting another life so that we can save Bethany and um, and Zach we basically ruined this this other man's life and it's the idea of like well and I don't well it makes it hard because you see his a struggle Lorelei, I think that most young gentlemen that adores you so much would even this goes just for her. Or I could take Bethany instead. Would that hurt you even more? So she's basically like bringing bringing up the point that Your like choice, Lorelei. How do you measure the would value you of a life? Their lives for a man you hardly know. Or simply help him to do what he wants. Just one nice alcoholic drink. That will be enough for Al. Hardly a devil's work, is it? And how on earth do I do that? You'll be an invisible presence in his life. A ghost following Al wherever he goes. Try whispering in his ear, plant some bad thoughts in his mind. Sometimes that's enough to push them over the edge, but don't hesitate to break something either. He won't be able to see you after all. Be his misery and make him drink again. Trust me, although Al might seem nice at first, he does not deserve a happy ending. Do I really have time for this? I have people that need me right now. They will wait. You have all the time in the world. Now, go through the mirror. My beautiful princess of maggots. Yeah, so the the queen of maggots is, what I am now? is alluding to uh, something right. that we don't know about Al right now. Uh, so we know that he's done a bad thing. Ark, Ark, I was I'm so glad that you could join us today. Sub baby is a whole five months old. Very nice, awesome. Okay, so uh, the Queen of Maggots is alluding to some secret that we don't exactly know uh, what it is. Uh, it was alluded to the last time it, in the actual Let's Play when we decided to thwart him that he did something very bad, but we don't know what it is. And and uh, the Queen of Maggots is basically alluding to that, like, because of that bad thing that he's done, he deserves... Uh, um, he deserves what we're going to do to him, or it makes his life less valuable than the one we're trying to get back from uh, the queen, right? So in exchange for Al's life, because we know from the Let's Play that we push him to commit suicide, uh, we... Uh, right, so his life for ours to be resurrected again. Um, <clears throat> and I think the game tries really hard to um, pull at your heartstrings to either be sympathetic to him in see seeing his struggle of how badly he's remorseful for whatever this thing is that he's done that we don't know and to see uh, that he maybe and also to, to to instill pity in the viewer the player 
uh, for Al and make it difficult what we have to do. So, however, there is also this thing that involves his ex that he did that we don't know what it is exactly. And uh, I think that the game, knowing the developer and the games that he he's created, he's going to make both decisions difficult. He's going to make you not want to thwart him if you thwart him, but not want to have. I'm I'm I'm. I would bet so much money that whatever the secret is, it's so bad that you're going to end up saying, yeah, he deserved this. I wish I hadn't. And the game does a really good job at making the putting the player in a bad situation because if you do decide to push him over the edge to commit suicide, you feel bad because you don't know what that bad thing he did was. But if you refuse to uh, to thwart him then I imagine we're going to find out that bad thing that he did and then we're, we're going to re regret that decision. So I'm guessing that this is going to be a lose-lose situation. I'm... Ooh, game feels a bit loud. Does it sound okay to you guys? I believe that she's supposed to be the de the devil or death or something like that. I mean, I could be wrong. These these games are very complex. She does not outright say who she is, I don't think. Ever. But yes, so this well, time... Here I am. We're kind What should I do? Follow the Queen's orders? Or maybe... Ignore them and help this guy instead? Alright, well... This is all messed up. We know what we're gonna Let's just look around and see what happens. We know what we're gonna do this time. We're gonna help him out. We're gonna try to help him out. Oh, excuse me. Uh, okay, so I think So Al's got a pet bird. Interesting. I think the red possibly the red um, descriptions or the red actions are the bad actions, possibly. Very retro. Nothing's happening. Oh, the radio. It needs new batteries. All right. Not a bad day outside. Al. Well, he's definitely a redhead. Hey, Madman Dog. Good to see you. Good to have you with us. Ark says she could just be an entity that governs the spirit world, where the souls of certain people and those who are tied to those people are governed by her. That's very true, yeah. I guess she doesn't actually have to have, like, a predefined role that we know of. She could be her own entity that was created by the developer, by the game makers. Olive! Right, Olive? Yeah, so, uh, as I was saying a minute ago, I f I'm pretty sure that whatever it is that he did in the past um, that the Queen of Maggots kind of alludes to is gonna make us like not want to help him but you know this is the alternate ending so I want to find out what that is I don't think he'd feel it if I tapped his shoulder so for now although while it, it's a little bit uh, if I smash this bottle hmm, it would get rid of the alcohol And Guy joined us as well! Fantastic! It's good to have you guys with us. So, okay, so the, alright, so the red actions are definitely the bad ones. We are going to help him this time. Just for completion's sake and curiosity. And so I think what we're gonna do is I just hang out on the some couch. Time on the sofa if I decide not to get in Al's way after all. If you do know what happens, please no spoilers. Otherwise, I shall be very angry. Let's watch some TV. Without Al watching, it's kind of pointless. Like he posted Infinity War spoilers on online. You can't get you can't get much worse than that, Olaf. Wait, what did she say about TV? Without Al watching, it's kind of pointless. Hmm. Okay, well. Sometimes the best choice is doing nothing at all. 
And that is the best choice this time, right? Because we're gonna we're gonna refuse to play the Queen of Maggots game, you know? All lives are are equal. Each person is uh, precious to another person, right? Who's to say that our life is worth more than his? We are not one to judge such worth, such value. Maybe he was the one who let the dogs out. Good old Al getting up and having his morning cup of coffee. Great way to start the day, if I do say so myself. Speaking of which, where's my coffee? And, uh, you know, just looking at his life, he, I think, you know, he does deserve to be pitied. And not tormented, which is basically what the queen is asking us to do. Time is really passing. Gosh, okay. I was expecting to do more. Welcome to another group meeting. Here we go. It's good to see you all again. Also, as I'm sure you've noticed, we have a new member with us today. His name is Al. Hi, all. Hi, Al. How you doing, mate? Hello. Hello. Um, See, look, he's trying. You are right. He has a drinking yeah. problem, and as we know, we as we now you. know, uh, it is a disease. Now I know it's hard to open up. It's considered a disease. But remember, we're not here to judge you. We might all come from different backgrounds in life, but in the end, we're here because we have one thing in common. For instance, Robert there is a cab driver. Was. He's had a drinking problem for most of his adult life. But last year, when he crashed his cab, he realized it is indeed a problem. I nearly killed those kids. I haven't touched a bloody thing since. Then we have Davina. She's a full-time stay-at-home mum of three. Davina drank wine every night, as soon as the kids went to bed. Most of them. Not every night. And Charlie. Where do I even start with you, Charlie? I did it all, boys and girls. Booze, coke, meth. You name it. And, oh, I see Ollie didn't show up today. Again. I just hope he's all right. Doubt it. Ha! Huh. Yes, well, let me tell you how we do things here, Al. The group will hear you out, then, in turn, will offer advice and support. We'll never think less of you, though. No matter what we're preparing. And we'll never talk about it outside of this room. Today you can just listen to us. There's no pressure. But you'll feel better if you share. Will you try? Why not? Let's just see how it goes. Yeah, we're going to be encouraging. We're going to try to be a positive force this Why time. Not? Screw the Queen of Maggots. We're not going to play her little Let's game. See how it goes. We're going to do the right thing. Okay. Yeah. I'll talk. Do the good thing. Oh yeah. Uh, sorry. My name is Al, and I uh, think I'm an alcoholic. But I don't Hi, know. Hi, Al. I mean, how can you tell? Everyone drinks. I'm just doing what everyone else is doing. I think it's your relationship to alcohol. How you feel about it. Except why you do it. Maybe I've been doing it too much lately. Like I did eat today, for Cam. Quite <laughs> some time, actually. Thanks for asking, though. Do you feel like it's affected Not very your much, but I did. Well? They've all made the same mistakes. They'll understand. You don't need their help. You can deal with this on your own. 
Sure, but what about all the fun times? Well, I don't think that's very constructive to say to a alcoholic. Uh, let's, uh, let's open up to these people. Let's encourage him that this is a safe place with people who can relate to him. They've all made the same mistakes. Don't understand. Right, right, Cam. Uh, he, apparently he yeah. did do bad things, but, uh, you know, they're in the past. Everybody's that's done bad things. Everybody deserves a second know. chance. Do you want to tell us about this person? Oh, this is important. This is new. That's really none of their business, is it? You've come this far. Might as well say it out loud. Just tell them to fuck off. This whole thing is ridiculous. Oh, I guess we're going to find out, like, right now, right now. Huh. Oh, boy. I'm a little bit... You've come this far. If I'm truthful, it's I almost don't want to know. I'm so curious, but I know that it's going to change how I feel about Al. Her name was Kara. I mean, isn't it better to... She was... Pity, right? Perfect. I'll shut I'm up. I'm going to get married. But I fucked it up. What did you do, mate? My boss at work was giving me a lot of shit. So I drank to make myself feel better. But somehow, it wasn't always working. As in, I felt worse instead. But I kept drinking and it made Kara upset. We argued about it every night until one time I'd lost it. And I, uh, hit her. I didn't mean to. But she was right in my face. I just wanted her to shut the hell up. Turned out... She was Aww. pregnant. If only I'd known about it. But it's just so hard. Fell, all covered in bloodline. She miscarried her that night. She left me the next day. Wow. <sighs> I mean, this is rather controversial, isn't it? Um, whether you believe a person should be forgiven for certain actions or whether you know and, and forgiven is different from I'll be right with you, May. forgiving someone is different from saying they shouldn't suffer Hello. consequences Hello. obviously how can I help you haha <laughs> Hey there, uh, Susan. And uh, mental Bronson's, please. Yep. I think a lot of people will agree. Most people, I think, will agree. It's not controversial to say that somebody who does something really awful like that should 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 suffer consequences for it. But what we're talking about is, well, one, forgiveness, and two, punishment. So okay. consequences, I think I can safely say I support consequences nice for bad things oh, that people do. She wandered in last week, and I let her stay. As long as she doesn't touch the donuts and wet the gumdrops, I'm okay. Sounds fair. I mean, at least she won't get killed. So a person has to ask themselves. Sure. Whether they think but I can't have any. I've got a at home. Al deserves more punishment got food in a cage. or whether he's suffered enough. Feathers, blind I never really got that. <laughs> You're like the creepy furry thing. Does that mean we can't get on? <laughs> well, you're the bird man and I am the cat lady. <laughs> you know, this interaction didn't happen last time. 
should be mortal enemies. <laughs> could Susan. we form a powerful alliance instead? Ah, <laughs> maybe. But you know, it's not always wise to trust a cat. Now, uh, I'd risk it. What have I got to lose? Birds are all right, I suppose, except crows. I hate crows. Oh, there they are. Brunson Mental. Twenties? Yes, please. Interesting. So I'll see you tomorrow, I guess. If I smoke all my Bronsons and need another pack. This is a very different Hello, Al. engagement that they had uh, from the first one. Very different. Looks like he may be perhaps making a friend. But if only Susan knew. Oh, Susan. Susan would have no hesitation to smite a parasite. All right, day two. So, right. Right, so, so obviously finding out what Al did is supposed to make it easier for us to push him to drink and therefore push him to suicide. But, um, what does she have to say well, about Al? He's definitely a redhead. Nothing different. Well, he's definitely a redhead. No, not that. The window. Very retro. Alright, well, we're gonna leave the bird alone. Last time we opened up the cage and let it out, just to just to add more mayhem and distress to poor Al's life. But we're gonna leave the bird alone. The bird did nothing. Oh, from the, shop last the, bird, the bird is an innocent. Batteries. Oh, why have why did I take the batteries? What we can also do. Oh no, not any longer. But we what we could have done on the first day is um, basically like corrupt all all of his food in the fridge and basically just r make everything rotten and moldy, just to just to fuck with his life and make his life more miserable. This is pretty sad. Olaf says, "Why would the queen want him dead anyway? It's not like he has a soul she can." <laughs> <laughs> Claim. Totally thought his head was a pumpkin. It leads to the kitchen and Al's bedroom. Wonder if we can just head outside. It's a bathroom door. Oh, what's in here? Did we go in here in the in the, the game? I don't know if we did. But there's literally nothing to do. Pretty dirty. Could use a good cleaning and a paint job, I think. So, what is going to happen? So this must be Kara. Oh, nope, not what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. Maybe I can just go for a walk as a ghost. Maybe. Apparently not. We'll just have to wait for him to uh, get up again. I think it's his day off. He might as well get some good sleep. Phone's ringing. I don't actually remember who it is. Oh, is he getting called into work? I think he is. Hello. What? But I'm off today. That's why you don't answer your phone on your no, day off. <laughs> I didn't change the rotor. I don't know who did. Did you ask Phil? He did? Yeah, I know what Mr. B's like. Fine. Give me 20 minutes. I'll come in. Poor Al on his day off having to head into work. Um. 
you know. <sighs> I don't think... Should I get my personal opinion on this? I don't think that uh, what, he, what he did was enough to say that he deserves to be tormented for the rest of his life up until, like, a suicide. I just don't. What he did was pretty bad, yeah. Yeah, that's awful. It's horrible. Is he responsible for it? Yes, of course he's responsible for his actions, regardless of his you know, addiction, which I can sympathize with. How long has he been staring at it? Red wine, beef stew. Red oh. Wine. I see. That's why. He doesn't want to buy alcohol. That's okay, Al. We're not going to be... We're not going to be a ghost that's going to torment you. We're going to be... We're going to be a guardian angel. We're going to be supportive and helpful. Oh, that's right! I remember this part. This part's so shitty. That is a lot of wine! Like, they just have cases and cases of wine. I bet he's feeling sherry again. Ugh. Who could drink cooking sherry? It's ugh. So I mean, if a draft was to push that door, it wouldn't be anything to do with us, right? What's her name? Liz? I think her name was Liz. I don't remember. Or maybe that was in the cat lady. Yeah, we thought she was our friend at first, then she turned hey, to be turned out to be a total C word. Just let me out, will ya? Lucky that I'm not stuck here like Al. This shit isn't funny! She's recording it? God, what a bitch! Summon rain. Yeah, we're gonna be- It's a beautiful day. Glad I can easily change that. Now, since it was blue, I imagine it's, like, a good thing if we do it, not hell, considered bad. Take it. What a shame about your cool mobile getting fucked by the rain. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Just trying to get you more likes. Leave him alone. Ha. What a shame about your cool mobile getting fucked by the rain. Yeah. That's what you get. For being a total bitch. <laughs> oh, oh no! He's stuck in here with all that <laughs> sherry. We can let him out though, can't we? How do you not have pity on somebody? Oh, just go ahead and have your bloody drink if you want it so much. I'll take care of you, mate. I'll take care of you, mate. I feel so much better about this route than I did the other. <sighs> and... Hmm. We'll just have to see what happens uh, with our story, right? Whether... She ends up, uh, killing Bethany instead? I, I find that hard to believe that the game would do that. Where's he gone? Oh, he's taking a shower. Uh. Oh, last time he was in here, didn't we make the, uh, the water cold, maybe? I suppose a nice hot bath is what he needs after a day like this. 
Yeah, being called in on his day off. He went in. He's trying his best. Oh, he nodded off. We can enter his dream. Let's do that. Can we have a whole game where you are a ghost looking after someone like this? That would be cool. Yeah, actually, there's a game called The Novelist that I have that's a little bit like that. Yeah, see, you know, we we really shouldn't have this kind of power. Yeah, let's make it nice. Uh, we really shouldn't have this kind of power to choose whether someone we love dies or whether um, Al dies. So maybe, uh, maybe the ethical thing to do is just uh, be a good person, make the right decisions towards helping others, all this positive stuff, and uh, whatever happens, happens. Maybe, maybe that's the only real way to look at it, uh, or the only, the only, the only real good decision like eth ethically good decision to make all right we have al here on a on a lovely little deserted island hold okay and we're playing as al And, uh, I think this section is going to have something to do with, yep, Kara, and maybe his, uh, maybe reconciling in his own mind how he feels about what he did. So, uh, I haven't watched all of Breaking Bad, but... So no spoilers, but they do go into, I believe they do go into like therapy uh, and addiction. And uh, one of the things that they, that is uh, a topic for a few episodes is um, an addict accepting himself right. and accepting the bad things that they've um, done. Yes. We need to talk, Lorelai. Follow me. Um, and I know that, like the character Jesse Pinkman, was having so having a hard time. You're working for the Queen of Maggots now. Toying with people's lives. Goddamn dialogue interrupting my thought. Killing parasites. Yeah, let me finish my thought. Okay. Who was this? This guy is uh, Jimmy the Traveler. And uh, he's like a guy who's helping us defeat the Queen of Maggots or find a way to defeat the Queen of Maggots. Uh, yeah, what I, was, what I was going into, though, was talking about, uh, yeah, the, the character Jesse Pinkman in Breaking Bad is having a hard time feeling like accepting what you've done, the bad things you've done because of an addiction. Like, he feels like uh, acceptance is y like you don't deserve acceptance. Uh, the therapist guy in the show did something really terrible too because of his uh, because of I think his drinking something that he really regrets and Jesse is basically like um, well do we really deserve to forgive ourselves do we deserve to feel okay again um, and he f he kind of feels like he deserves to punish himself maybe indefinitely um, so I think that's probably, I think that's definitely something that Al is struggling with internally, is, um, do I deserve happiness anymore because of what I've done, this horrible thing that I've done? Um, I think, I think Bojack Horseman goes into kind of a similar idea too. I love Bojack Horseman, by the way. I'm obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with it because of the topics of mental health and addiction and uh, depression and substance abuse and things like that. I think, uh, 
I think it's like really it it like it does not shy away from these dark dark issues. It's not it's a comedy, but it's also super dark and it's not afraid to like put something really horrible right in front of your face and force you to face it. And I like that about the show. I like shows like that and I like games like that. So, uh, in Bojack Horseman, they kind of go into that too. He does something really terrible. He struggles with loving himself, thinking that he's a good person anymore. I think that's a very common, common theme with uh, people who struggle with addiction. Because a lot of times, that addiction can make you do pretty bad things. I'm actually trying to help this guy, Jimmy. I'm actually trying to help this guy. I'm rambling, I'm sorry. It, Jenny. I really am. So far, zero fails. Zero fails? That's awesome. But be careful. Jimmy is actually it's not over yet. a real person who's asleep. Keep your guard up. But he's able to travel through dreams. Hands. Frightens me most, Jimmy. What about the real Queen of Maggots? How did it go in the tunnel? Uh, well, Jimmy, if you guys remember back in the Let's Play, uh, he g <laughs> he gave us a bomb and a lighter to light the bomb, and the lighter was bloody broken, so we couldn't actually kill her. Well, I'm guessing you already know that I did not manage to kill her. It turned out. One bomb wasn't enough. Also, we ended up needing the bomb to clear the tunnel, but at least now we know where the real Queen of Maggots is. Not gonna beat around the bush. Operation T Tunnel was a complete fuck up. Let's maybe not be that uh, rude. Well, I'm guessing you already know that I did not manage to kill her. Unfortunately, he's stuck asleep. We still Cam. Be here if she was dead, would we? But what went wrong? The uh uh the. One bomb wasn't enough. It turned enough. out, one bomb wasn't enough. I had to use it to clear the blockage in the tunnel. And that's even before I found the monster. But at least now we have access to her. I'm sorry, Lorelai. I should have prepared better. He looks really cool, by the way. Yeah. But now that I've seen that thing, I agree. We must destroy it. I'm glad you think so, too. Well, if we can find him, Cam, and also if we can kill the Queen of Maggots, uh, we can wake him up. Yeah, but he's trapped sleeping at the moment, which means he's trapped traveling dreams. So, is there a plan B? That monster was huge. Are you even sure the bomb would kill it? That monster was huge. Are you even sure the bomb would kill it? No, of course I'm not. But unless we find a rocket launcher, we're kind of short on options here. Anyway, it seems to be weak to fire. And I'm pretty sure that oily pool it's sitting in would burn like a torch, too. Ooh. Sounds like there we you need go. to make more bombs. I'll figure something out. But I need you to promise me something. I think he kind of is in a coma, I guess. Uh. Well. Before we say that we'll make a promise, let's find out what it is first. Always a good rule of thumb. I don't like making promises I can't keep. Just hear me out, please. If you manage to find a way out and survive this, when you're back in the real world, go to 12 Helen Road. There is a spare key in the platform, right outside flat three. Find me. Yeah, and we do actually do that in the in the let's play. At the end, we do manage to find him and wake him up. My name is Davina, and I'm an alcoholic. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This has been a difficult week. It's a throw in my head in. I mean, sometimes. Just strangle them. 
so they would shut up. But I won't, obviously. They're my kids. I love them so much. But every time they spill stuff on the floor, and every time they scream their little heads off or fight about some stupid toy, I start thinking about it. Can't wait for them to go to bed, right? So you can have some wine? Hmm. Why don't you encourage her in her efforts? She's a terrible mother and everyone can see that. Well, I don't think that necessarily makes her a terrible mother. Uh, she's just frustrated, you know? I don't have kids, so I don't really know what that's like, but, you know, for some reason, I remember something Bill Murray once said in a movie. I think it was Lost in Translation. Yeah, well, he basically said, it's true that kids are hard, but they grow up to be the most delightful people you will ever meet in your life. So what I'm trying to say is, be strong. Being a mum's never easy. But in the end, you'll know it was all worth it. I saw that film. I don't remember that line, but I sure remember him drinking a lot of whiskey. I'd like to think. Ah, oh, whiskey. Best of friends once. Whoa, holy shit. Oh, that scared me. I like to think that the decisions that we're making to encourage, uh, like to eat, to encourage a certain like action in Al are actually both things that he's contemplating doing already. It's not like we're making him uh, s like do an action that he wouldn't have otherwise done, but basically we're pushing him or nudging him towards one direction or another that he's already kind of on the crossroads of anyway. So in that way, we can we can s we can say you know, Al, Al is a good guy. Like, he seems like he is a good guy. He's capable of being empathetic and supportive and non judgmental. And uh, so, yeah. And not just because, you know, we as a ghost have made him or manipulated him to do it, but rather just pushed or influenced him towards one of the ones he was considering. I guess, which by the same token also means that he has those negative thoughts or m more um more judgmental or more like cynical behaviors or th not behaviors because right his behavior it's it's his thoughts that we're pushing him towards they're both thoughts does he want to say that she's a bad mom or does he want to be supportive of the mom that's struggling yeah i don't know Oh, let's watch a little TV. I could kill some time on this sofa if I decide not to get in Al's way after all. Yeah, let's just chill in the couch with Al. Al's a good guy. He's just living a life. He's just living his life. Trying to better himself, you know? He's making efforts. It looks like that incident with Kara was a wake-up call for him. Which is a good thing, right? So, he's trying to better himself now. He recognizes that there was a problem. Um, he recognizes that he did do something wrong. And that says a lot, too, I think. Let's change the channel, because this is boring as shit. That's, and that's a big distinction to make. You can really... It, it tells you something about the person on whether they do take responsibility, realize that they had a problem, uh, if they are remorseful for something bad that they did. What the fuck? What is this? What? What? What are we watching? What the 
the hell? Uh, yeah, let's change the channel. Let's <laughs> with Jesus Christ. Let's change the channel. Uh, here's something lighthearted. We can watch Donald Duck. All right, I'm done here. Exit. And time continues to pass. Oh, he's conked out. Arrived. It leads onto a quiet little street. Can I go out? I can go out! They're letting me go out now. I don't remember going out. Oh, yes, I do! Yes, I do! We can switch the labels, right? So that he receives a box, uh, a case of wine. I think these are about to be delivered as soon as the courier is done with his mail. The finest selection of lager? Jaeger. Jaeger? And bitter. Right to your doorstep. Mm, nah, we're not going to switch the stickers. The writing on the large parcel says... The finest selection of lager and bitter, right to your doorstep. It is pronounced lager. Good to know. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna leave it though. We have uh no need of that things of of that things of those things. Al has no need for those things. He's on his way to a better life. Let's just go back inside then. Let's see how the Queen of Maggots feels about us defying her. And he got the letter. Dear Al. I wonder if it's different. I've decided to write this letter because we never really had a chance to say goodbye. That's her ghosty apparel cam. Is he going for a walk? Janice told me you'd given up the drink. I couldn't believe it at first. Then I heard about the group therapy. And yeah, it looks like you finally admitted that you have a problem. I'm impressed, Al. Well, this is a hopeful start to the letter. I'm a little concerned but that he's going for a it's walk. Too late. This wound is never gonna heal. I hated you for so long. I wouldn't know how to love you now. This is a letter now, from his ex camp. After all this time, I understand you never wanted to hurt me. You were ill. I can never forgive you for what you did. And yet, I hope you can still turn your life around and be the good man you once were. I think this part is different. I don't remember if that part was in it in the last time. Goodbye, Al. Oh, no, it wasn't, because... And good luck. That is a much better... Oh, unlocked achievement on the mend. <sighs> well, and now... Aw, now we're in a pet store. Oh, hello, kitty. She's a beautiful little kitty. Are we going to adopt a kitty? Oh boy. Oh, why is this so creepy? Oh. Come on, Al, adopt the kitty. You know you want to. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure that that uh letter ended much more amiably than um the last one did. While it still did have the portion saying that she doesn't forgive him, um, you know, it ends a little bit more nicely.
But now, uh, just as Al had to deal with the consequences of his actions when he was drinking, we are going to have to deal with the consequences of uh, deciding to not be selfish and not take Al's life. So what consequences are we going to have? We did not give the Queen of Maggots the life that she required in order to give us a second life. Or third life, rather. It's I don't playing know some crazy old music. Coffins. This coffin seems different from the rest. That's right. It's our mother, who I'm not sure if it's just shadows, but looks like her eyes have been gouged out. She looks like she's reaching out for something. Mom, why do you keep haunting me? Baby crying. I didn't see a baby-sized coffin. Oh, it was just a doll. Doll. It's just a doll. Let's take the doll. Maybe Mother's corpse would feel a little bit more comfortable holding a doll. That's what she's reaching for. Mum. Mum. Let's give her the doll. Why do you keep haunting me? Oh, there he is. There he is. There's a massive padlock on it. Locked. Luckily, I don't think he makes an appearance here, in this realm, wherever this realm might be. Ooh. How did that get here? Fire axe! I'll take that. <laughs> right, Blobluff? What is this? Alright, guess we just have to chop down the door. I mean, it is going to address the fact that I didn't that I didn't torment uh, Al, right? And the Queen of Maggots, she's going to be like, "Hey, you didn't do what I said." But I assume she's going to give us another life anyway to allow us to continue the game, of course. Can't I take this with me? Okay. Let's There's a strange symbol drawn on this door. I can use this, yes. No, uh oh. Ah! Come down here, would you? I wasn't doing anything. Uh huh. Yes. She's gonna get mad if she catches me fiddling with this door. Oh boy. I should try again well, later. Well. It, it isn't my sweet little lover. Oh shit. Hi. Uh-oh. You all right? Well, I'm back. Sorry couldn't do it. Please don't be mad. Uh, I'm not gonna apologize, and I'm not gonna beg her. I'm just gonna say, well, I'm back. Well, I'm back. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Whoa! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Ah! Oh, fuck! The end? Oh shit. Oh boy. Holy shit. Uh. Wow. I was not expecting that. Where are we?
Oh my god, that was so scary! <laughs> Let's try the right, right side first. Yeah! Yeah, I think she's a little... I think she's a little peeved at us. That was so scary. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, our dream house. What a beautiful house. What a beautiful house. I sincerely, sincerely thought for a moment that she was gonna just like destroy us. And it was gonna be game over. Maybe I should just rest for a minute. No, no, let's not do that. Squeaky old stairs. So I th what is up with that curtain? Huh. The door leads out to the garden. Well, let's go. Let's go check the garden. I think we're gonna find uh, Jimmy the Crow, right? We should. Should be finding Jimmy. Huh? Oh God, it's you. Um, where are you? Right here, in the cage. Are you a talking crow? Are you a talking crow? No. I mean, yes, I, I suppose. That bitch queen of maggots turned me into a crow and locked me up. Jimmy? Yeah, it's me. So now you're Jimmy the Crow. Does it hurt? Not really. But boy, I'm so hungry. That's right. I'm sorry to see you like this, Jimmy. But I'm here. So I'll figure out how to save you. Yes. But first. I need food. All right, Cam's gonna take I'll off. I'll starve to death if I don't eat something soon. See you later, Cam. Take care. All right, so last time we were playing this game, we did not feed anything to him because it kind of seemed like everything would poison him. But uh, since we're doing alternate endings, we're gonna go ahead and do it this time. Well, how about some delicious juicy pumpkin? Yeah, I'm not eating that. What's wrong with pumpkins? I don't know. But for some reason, my stomach turns if I even think about them. Oh, come on. You'd rather starve to death than eat a pumpkin? I think... I know they're filled with blood. Look, I know it's crazy, but... I'd really much prefer those white granules. Pretty sure that's poison. Isn't that... fertilizer? I don't care what it is. It smells so good. I really, really want it. Is he really the... Is he really Jimmy, though? Oh, I went to the tunnel. I knew I shouldn't have. And that thing... That monster... It grabbed me hard and shrieked like a demon. Then I woke up here. Hungry. So fucking hungry! Ooh. I think I liked you better as a person, Jimmy. Uh, we'll just say I'll see, see what, what we I can, can do. do. You can just give me some of that fertilizer. You sure that's even edible? I want it! Good God! Please! Well, if he wants it- run down the cave. Like he wants it that badly, time. surely it can't uh I'm not thirsty. be that bad of a decision. Jimmy the Crow. Can I just Poor let Jimmy. him out? Are you eating that thing? Because if not, I'll have it. Right. According to the label, it's a saltpeter based garden fertilizer. Saltpeter. Okay, well Looks tasty, doesn't it? Not really. Um, no. You weirdo. Poor Jimmy. Alright. Are you eating that thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if not, 
Ow. Yes, I know you want it. You want it. So here, have it. You want it so badly. Alternate endings and all. Get more. More. Jesus. So you're just going to become a f like 100% a crow now? Use fertilizer. On. There we go. He's pecking straight through our hand, but that's okay. I need more. Still hungry. God. Are you eating that thing? Okay. Nothing new to say. Surely fertilizer uh, won't do any harm to a crow. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Don't feed the crow. Jimmy. Achievement unlocked. Don't feed the crow. Well. I mean, I didn't see that I particularly coming, like like that exact thing, <laughs> but uh, I did kind of see that coming. Oh, dancing curtains. Dancing curtains. Goodbye, Jimmy. Right, so. So, we've been here, b this is where it sent us last time in the Let's Play. But why did she send us here after defying her? I believe in the Let's Play, she actually offered us that house. She said, you can have this, this house, which was supposed to be like Lorelei's uh, perfect house house what she had always wanted and sh it was supposed to be like a tempting offer right i can sleep when it's over well what now we're back here that didn't seem to accomplish anything now we just have to face the queen again hmm let's see what she's going to say maybe she's calmed down a little bit there's some stew i'm sure that we can eat that to revive ourselves most likely. Now, is she even here? She's not. Huh. Okay. So... I guess let's try the door. Were there really no consequences? No actual consequences in the game for for defying her about Al? Oops, not that. Don't remember what's in here. Oh, right. Well, we could probably make some kind of bomb out of this fertilizer now, I suppose. Although Jimmy, Jimmy is exploded. <laughs> so, it's hot. I don't want to burn my. Can I throw the fertilizer in here? That's not gonna work. Will it explode? The real Queen of Maggots. If I destroy this thing, will everything go back to the way it was? Okay. Apparently, nothing to do in here. So I'm thinking that there was actually never a need to follow the queen's directions. I still feel like we're probably eating something horrible in this stew, <laughs> considering she offered um, she offered the player a bowl of blood in uh, Downfall. Ah, oh, okay, so we wake up here. Um... Oh, this is all of us. But, 
This should mean that Zack is still alive. That was our mom right there. Why did you bring all the bodies here? If only you'd listen to me, no? Huh, okay. He's dead. His gun taken away. Alright, well... I guess we could carry on with the rest uh, of the ending just to see what happens with Jimmy being dead. Hmm. But I was actually more interested in just finding out John took this costume Al's, art Al's alternate ending. I have to admit, I am a little bit disappointed that there doesn't seem to be a consequence for um, not doing what the Queen of Maggots said. I was expecting something, like to lose something. She did say that she was like gonna take Bethany's life instead. I guess she still could have, maybe. I guess we could carry on and find out. Uh, but if we do that, that will have to be in another stream because uh, that's all the time I have for today. We're going to wrap up today's stream now. So thank you everybody for joining in and uh, watching the stream. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it wasn't too uh, boring and uh, rambly. It was a little bit rambly. But uh, thanks again and I will see you all next time.